Hi guys, so let's get you the last reading of the day because I've lost the light. Um, you know, it's not great at the moment, my setup. Um, but bear with me, bear with me guys. This is a soulmate reading, a general one done on A8 and it will be published on A8. So let's see what comes out for you guys. Soulmate reading. If you didn't get any messages with the Lionsgate video or the other videos that I put out today, hopefully you will get one from this, okay? Religious factors. So yeah, this is your spiritual path. It can mean that the person is a different race or religion from you or has just generally had a different upbringing to you. So let's see here. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. So you may feel like I'm not a controlling person, but what that means to the universe is if you're worried about when, where, how, um, try to let go of that, okay? Um, because that in itself creates blockages. So try to let go of that. Um, you know, just know that the divine has you and it's up to the divine how it comes to you, okay? Keep an open mind, yes. So the more you focus on, I want this person to come to my door with a bunch of flowers, the longer it takes. So like I said, let go and let God, okay? So it, if it's meant to be, it's coming. It's how the divine chooses it to come to you. You just keep your mind open, just keep faith and understand, okay, it's coming to me here, okay? Let's see. Past life relationship. You have known each other before. Okay, so that's why your bond is so strong because it's sort of this karmic tie, meaning you've been in a past life with them. Okay. Oops. Giving your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership here. Okay. So. If you want to work on this partnership, all we need now is the reconciliation. Oh, the soulmate, last card, soulmate. Um, so, yes, this is your soulmate, okay? If you want to ask, if your only question in this reading was, is this my soulmate? Yes, it is, okay? Why is the connection so strong between us? Because we've shared a past life together. Now, what do both of us want within this soulmate connection to give this relationship a chance? What are the blockages? Um, for some, it'll be like different spiritual upbringing and different spiritual paths at different stages on different paths. Um, even race can be a factor here with this. It could be distance being a factor. Also, um, these control issues are blockages. Um, you know, you've got to, like I was saying, you've got to allow these situations to unfold naturally. For you, you just need to keep an open mind, okay? It says your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So what does that mean if you've already met them, if you already know the person you seek? It means you've grown, you've changed. So have they, hopefully, okay? So let's do this here. Six of Swords. So again, um, something speaking of could be distance between you or needing to travel to see each other here. But I feel like you guys are moving through a rough patch. And um, so, you know, I feel like you've been in a relationship, you're in a rough patch at the moment because usually this card shows the people in the calm water here but here it's in the quite choppy water so i feel like you're in a rough patch at the moment with your soulmate um you may not be with them physically because look at this guide here um you know it's shining and things like that it's like me at the moment with a stupid light <laughs> there's like a light behind them so you're being guided on this journey and you're in a rough patch at the moment here but things are moving forward okay so if you're worried about that or you want to find out it may seem that i can't physically see in my world that things are moving forward 
things are moving forward with the six of swords okay nine of wands yeah you're like well i'm still on my own i'm still without my soulmate um but i always say about this card i feel like it expresses beautifully um you know the paths we take in life this journey these peaks these valleys these ups and downs you know and over these mountains and things so um nine of wands here it's like I'm, I'm still feeling um blocked i'm things aren't going how you want them to go it's a rest period here and it's on the let go of control issue card there so here you know you're needing a timeout sometimes we don't actually want a timeout but we need a timeout okay i feel like you know um like I said, if you are blocked with this um, combination of cards, um, it could be feeling a bit rough for you in these choppy waters, okay? This journey could be a bit rough for you if you're blocked from communication because the six of swords here, it's about communication. So if you're blocked with the nine of wands, um, I feel like you're having a difficult time because of you're blocked here okay so remember how far you've come on this journey um you know everything you've been through to get you to this place where you are now so you deserve this break and a little bit of protection too this is like taking stock okay um counting your blessings how far you've come things like that I know it, it probably doesn't feel like it to you because I, I am feeling this choppy water here. So you are probably like, well, at the, mim at the minimum, why can't they just talk to me? Why can't I get a sign of them just talking to me? Because I feel that because of the let go of control issues card here. So you may be like, fair enough. If they talk to me and say, I'm your soulmate, wait for me. Or just give you any sort of indication, you'd be okay with that. But I feel like the fact that you're blocked here brings up control issues for you. You wanting to have things go a lot smoother, a lot sooner, which is understandable. You know, it's understandable. It's really see how far you've come and count your blessings. You're doing a great job here. You really are. You've come a long way. hanged man so yeah this soulmate connection is stood still at the moment and it can feel a bit choppy a bit rough when the soulmate connection is stood still but you gain so much from this okay you will gain so much from this so protect what you've already gained okay this is like protecting the fruits of your labor it's like a whole wall of protection around you in this nine of wands that nobody can get into in the at the moment here um while you're on this path of learning awakening here gaining a new perspective so let's say if we're feeling a little bit rough and can't let go of the control issues okay how can we look at this we can look at this in a positive way of um so while i'm on my own i get to work out things i can't work out that i'm when i'm in a relationship you know i get time to focus on myself that i wouldn't be able to do on a relationship maybe i get time to put energy into my career in the time that you know i would usually be spending with a partner i'm not saying it makes up for it i'm saying let's just try and gain a positive perspective here and then we can move forward more positively here with the six of swords thinking more positively which gets the movement going here because nine of wands and hangman says the relationship is stood still it's stuck at the moment there's a blockage here if you're not physically blocked like on the phone or on facebook or something there's some sort of blockage going on with you guys you may just feel like they're just leaving me hanging around. So what should I do? Move forward. And I feel like if you are feeling like I'm moving forward, you may be finding it difficult to move on from this person um, because you came this long distance with them and you've been through so much with them. 
was a relationship that's changed you with the hangman. Okay, six of wands. It's a spiritual lesson you need to successfully complete. Okay, so you need to gain a new perspective. You need hindsight and you need to be able to be at the point and look back and say, ha, huh, I see now why I needed that time on my own. I see why, you know, um, I reached these milestones in my life that caused growth spurts within my spirit here. Because this is like um, spiritual growth here. But it's also, it could be a lot of people wanting to get to know you, admiring you, and you blocking them out because of this soulmate, okay? Um I feel like you may want to move on, but not ready for new people to take, you know, this much notice of you. Um, so, you know, you have got this blockage of nine of, nine of wands around you here. So you'll successfully move forward. Six is a very positive energy. OK, so although um, you feel physically like you're stuck still, it's not moving forward um but spiritually with the six of wands and six of swords it is getting movement forward you are growing you are learning here with the hangman you're gaining new perspective and so are they okay so i know i know when it feels like this like stuck still no movement it can feel like no growth and some of you will feel like you know I'm okay at the moment um, not to move forward. Um, I'm okay like with people admiring me maybe from afar, but I don't, I'm not ready to accept any offers here. So you will successfully overcome this. Um, the six of swords and the si mirrors the six of wands here. So I do feel like um, the connection is now going to have positive um energy infused into it so you will start to feel um a lot better okay and um i feel like maybe you might start dressing up more or something i don't know what that is <laughs> you may be looking better or just putting more effort into yourself here i don't know what that is empress um i didn't want to offend anybody saying that <laughs> but yeah it's like maybe now you know you're dressing up more people are taking more notice of you or something you're just attracting everybody in um because of the change because of the light that's um coming from you right now and i just feel like it's just not somebody you want to attract in so you're not really accepting of those offers the empress here okay so there is abundance here like I said, I feel a lot of po positive energy now being infused into this connection, okay? So it's going to feel like you're going to have this, like, injection of positive energy. Really take advantage of it during, um, you know, Leo season here. So really take advantage of it because um, you can help the connection to grow here, Okay, with the Empress, this egg, these trees, you can help the growth of this. So if you're putting positive light energy out there, it will come back to you here. Okay, so, you know, sending um, positive thoughts to them. Um, you can picture things positively and picture your future together and you know send that out there to the divine don't be so pacific but just be like oh, i can't wait to be together on a beach i can't wait to sit down and have a coffee um you know real positive energy being infused into it here because it's going to have a massive growth spurt here a lot can grow from this relationship i feel like you've grown so much from this relationship You'll find so much abundance from this time on your own. I know when it first happens, it doesn't feel like it, but you really will learn so much from this, okay? Nine of Pentacles, that's that growth. You're going to move into a period of time where you're feeling confident and a lot of people are going to take notice of that, okay? Um, 
you're going to be very attractive. Nine of Pentacles and Empress here. People are going to be really taking notice of you. It's like, hmm, maybe you're just only interested in this soulmate, but it's coming across that you're a very attractive person and you're locking yourself away from the world here. So um, you can use this abundant energy that you'll receive from this connection into money. OK, so if you want to put the focus um, if you're not interested in dating other people and you're getting this attention from other people, um, I feel like you could divert this energy into money. OK, so if you want to um, expand your money, go ahead and put the focus on that, because during this time, there's a lot of positive energy vibrations um, shining down on this soulmate connection here. OK, so like I said, enjoy this time alone. Use it for your career then. Use it to get on your life path and be abundant when that person comes back. You need two abundant people for something to work out. You both need to be in this nine of pentacles phase. I feel like uh, probably some of you are. And this is why a lot of people are now taking notice of you. OK, it's like a lot of people are going to start being interested in you during august even through um virgo season here i feel like what you start working on now you could get a lot of money a big payout in um what is it i can just think i can't even think of the months anymore i've done this so long <laughs> um in what are we in august september that's what i was trying to get to september the ninth month okay so i feel like what you put the energy into now in the eighth month you've got like three weeks left you're gonna see um abundance coming from that if you want to focus your love energy then please do so positively into this soulmate connection positive thoughts when um, wanting to manifest a soulmate back into your life, um, say if it's somebody from the past, then I would suggest new, like, create new memories in your mind, create new visions in your mind. Don't think of old ones, create new ones, okay? If you want a new soulmate in your life, um, just picture somebody you want to spend time with and you enjoying yourself, you happy. Feel those emotions, that happiness, feel attractive, feel abundance here, feel like the empress, you know, don't feel like a queen, feel like an empress here because this is some confidence coming in for you, um, some real abundance if you take advantage of this. Look at, like I said, just look at this differently, okay, gain a new perspective, okay, I'm on my own, but I get a chance to focus more on my career and then when my soulmate is back then i get to spend more time with them the things i want to do for myself i can focus on now okay four of swords so yeah um some of you may be going through um ascension and feeling this tiredness okay feeling like yeah i want to keep going i want to keep going but then your body gets tired here so you could be needing to rest rest um sleep well okay try and sleep well if you can um that will help you out lots you could be uh, able to communicate with them um during your sleep you may be thinking they may be dreaming about you even here um but i feel like you're over the worst of it because we have the ten of swords broke into two but i feel like you're over the worst of it okay can be difficult it may have been difficult for a longer period of time if they had blocked you but if you're at the stage of the hangman you may now see things differently you know then we get to the stage where we successfully see things differently without having to be told and then you know we have this abundance this confidence this empress stage here new beginnings and wonderful growth here but you know remember rest is just as important okay rest is just as important here don't feel like 
oh, I'm being lazy because I, I need to lay down. No, you need to lay down because guess what? We're really doing this human thing. We're really in this human body. This body needs rest. Your spirit may be go, go, go with the six of wands. Like, yes, I completed that challenge. I knocked it out of the park. So I'm ready to go for the next. Your body needs rest. We're only human. <laughs> We're a divine being in this human body. So this human body needs rest. You could be feeling that during this time. The world card. And that's because we're complete in cycles. And we're doing it successfully here. Okay. You've successfully completed a cycle. It's not just that something's over. This is successfully complete in a cycle. So, and don't, you know, when one door closes, another one opens. So don't worry about that. Don't feel like, oh, it's shut down and things like that. Or if I rest, um, you know, I'm stopping my progress. No, you're not. You're resting because you need rest. Don't be so hard on yourself. I feel like you're being extremely hard on yourself with this world card. Look at this guy ready to self-sacrifice. Well, them days are behind you now. That's the cycle you should be closing down. You know, when you need rest, you rest. I had like... It feels like forever off, but it was only a few weeks and two weeks or something. And I feel so much rejuvenated from that rest. But I do take on a lot of people's energy, so it's understandable. Two of Wands here, okay? So you may be wanting, you know, um, some sort of answer here before this lion's gate closes this 12th of august here you may be wanting some sort of answer here but you've closed down a lot of cycles you're in a really positive place here um some of you could be um making decisions to move forward here and leave the past in the past now that will be a healed perspective like okay they'll catch me up whenever they catch me up you know that's a healed perspective. If you're still thinking, I'm going to stand at this gate and try and keep it open um, and try and stop this cycle from closing, it's you're not quite healed yet. You're in the hangman stage. There's nothing wrong with that. We all do it. OK, so you could still be like, the kind of still in my mind. Um, so you need to close down this self-sacrificing um, you know, and realize and really trust and really believe that they will come through this gate. They will catch you up. It's a new cycle's beginning. Um, once we get to Virgo season, um, then you're going to see major changes for you here. Major abundance if you've put in the work. OK. So the decision is yours. I feel like you're going to get to this stage where the decision is yours. Like, do I want a new soulmate here? You, you're going to get, you're going to make a decision whether the past is gone for good now or, you know, I'm healed. I'm going to wait in a healthy way, which would be, um, to keep moving forward with your life here, but, you know, know that you're preparing for a future with somebody. Um, Ace of Pentacles offer. So very solid, solid offer coming once you make a decision to close down this cycle and focus on yourself, to focus on the rest that you need. The abundance that's coming your way after successfully completing, you know, your um, awakening here. You know, you've done it successfully. You know, if if you're still blocked or you feel like the communication is still rocky with you guys, don't worry. This offer is coming. You just have to trust and let go of, um, you know, these control issues. Keep an open mind here, you know, especially if you want to give this relationship a pass. But you do have options of other soulmates, just saying, just throwing it out there. You know, a soulmate is not 
just one person it is um you know we can have multiple soulmates in our life okay it's your spiritual path now that i feel like you'll be choosing between with that two of wands so yes this person is your soulmate so if somebody new comes in and makes an offer i feel like you might be open to offers here with this two of wands which is quite shocking i felt like you would all be like no i'm staying with the past some of you may want to close down a cycle not forever just in a healthy way like i'm ready to move forward um you know i'm putting everything behind me if they want to catch me up the doors open yeah i get it you're my soulmate here um this is my spiritual path we have this past life relationship together here i want to give it a chance with you but you're just not coming forward yet so i have to keep my mind open i'm letting go of any control issues here and i'm accepting positive offers positive job offers positive um dating opportunities because if you close that down you're telling the universe no i don't want um to date i don't want somebody in my life it's very um can be very confusing for some people but yeah you know if you're just putting up these blockages to everybody then the universe will feel like okay you're blocking everybody okay so it's a blockage then yeah there's no com coming forward because people are taking notice of you because you're shining bright honey you're an empress okay male or female you are coming across as you know you've done the work now it's time for your reward rest is so important rest is so important especially when you've grown you heard of growing pains rest is so important that's what we feel during ascension like flu-like symptoms okay guys so good luck with that 